You guys actually have some really unconventional tools that you're using to, to catch the outbreaks uh, early. Well, we do have uh, wastewater-based epidemiology, which goes back a couple of decades uh, in, in public health uh, surveillance of, for instance, polio uh, in large water treatment plants. And we've employed that in each of our dorms to, to try to identify hot spots and then go in and test to find those asymptomatic uh, individuals. The symptomatic cases usually will find their way to a test or will uh, take themselves out of general uh, circulation in society. The asymptomatic individuals are the ones that we're trying to identify. So this wastewater-based uh, epidemiology is something that we found to be helpful. We've identified almost 100 cases now of positives uh, that are asymptomatic that we move to our isolation dorms. So just to be clear, you're, you're actually taking um, wastewater elimination and you're examining it and finding um, virus present. Yes, no question about it. We think by identifying uh, the building, we can then go through and test. And we've also done more uh, focused testing through contact tracing from symptomatic individuals who've been in those dorms. And when kids do break the COVID rules, what do you guys have in place as far as discipline or how do you handle that situation? They get a warning, uh, they get a fine, and then uh, for repeat offenders, they're uh, suspended and even expelled. Wow. And before I let you go, I just got to ask you this. You know, a big, big complaint or um, worry that people have is that schools really want to open back up for financial reasons. Everyone knows that schools, just like every other industry, has been hurt financially and that schools are rushing back because in order to collect tuition and room and board and everything else that comes with it, the kids need to be on campus. How would you answer that? We need the tuition revenue, but we're not going to um, continue to do it if we can't safely uh, protect particularly our most vulnerable population. Awesome. Dr. Robbins, thank you for your honesty and answering the questions. And, and Dr. Grounder, of course, thank you for your important insight. Thank you. We're living in uncertain times. It's tough to keep up with the latest medical headlines. Panic about the market, panic about COVID. And how do those headlines impact you and your family? On season 13 of The Doctors, we want to empower you physically. If I met them at dance, they would meet me at medicine. Man, I love that. Emotionally. If I can change my thoughts, I can change my feelings. And medically. He doesn't have his mask up, which is not a good thing. This is the million dollar question, maybe the trillion dollar question. This is so critical for people to hear. We're giving you the inside track on health and wellness so that you can get back to the life you deserve. It's time to take back your power. The Doctors, now more than ever, premieres September 21st.